Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we have the brand new errands here in our cask. And we do not even have a, a price for them. They're yes. pre-delivered delivered bottles. But yeah, they're pre-delivered bottles. You should not be able to get it out on the market yet. Just got these bottles for videos. But uh, they will be on the market very soon. Maybe if you're in some lucky markets, you will already mm -hmm. have them. Have you paid for them? I don't think so. I'm not quite <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, okay. Product placement. <laughs> yeah. So we have uh, two new errands. Uh, this video, we taste the Bothy, the new Bothy, uh, which is matured in ex-bourbon casks and then finished in... Quarter cask means 125 liters, half the size of a normal uh, cask. And uh, well, they are nine years, it's sad, it's not written on the label, nine years in ex bourbon casks and then two more years in those quarter casks. And that means that this whiskey should be mm, not really mature, but uh, heavy loaded with oak influence. So there are two kinds of maturation. First is the subtractive maturation where all the unwanted aromas uh, vanish in the whiskey due to oxidization and vaporization through the uh, staves of the cast. And the second is the additional maturation where uh, tastes from the cask move into the whiskey. And this you can speed up by smaller casks. This really looks like recycled paper, organic paper, or something like that. Or painted. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you think they paint the bits on I, it? I think they I've have. found a, a uh, little. Yeah, this is of the Lag Distillery. This is the new Lag Distillery. Oh, okay. Because Aran is located on the Isle of Aran, uh, west of Glasgow. And uh, the Lochrensa, where the distillery is situated, is in the very north of Aran. And there they are also produced the Machimor peated whiskey uh, from the Machimor Moor, which is very much in the middle of Aran. And the new, the Lag distillery in the very south, they will produce only peated whiskey. So we have then the non-peated whiskey Aran from the north and the Lag, the peated in the south. And well, they are both from the same company. So they don't, they're not in in competition, but one will produce peated and one non-peated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's as well a new uh, kind of bottle. There's a proprietary bottle of Aran, and this will be the new one. Uh, looks different, looks very good because you can uh, have a, a, a thick bottle where you can see the color of the whiskey. It's uncolored, it's unchill filtered, and it's cast strength, 56.2. Cast strength or high Natural strength? Natural cast strength is oh, written okay. on there. So I think they a lot dilute, uh, uh, evaporated through the staves of the wall. Last time I've, uh, I've had a talk with the distillery that uh, do cask strength, but the cask strength is always a round number. So it's, it's a very, very round number. So they always have that round number, but they say cask strength. And what they actually do is they have the master blender has a a really, really difficult task of blending casts together that work with the flavor profile that they've given for the whiskey and with the with the strength. Mm -hmm. So they actually do get then a lot of casks together. So this might be stay on that strength, but still be cask strength. So it's really difficult for the uh, for the Isle of Aaron whiskey to always get that strength. But it is or, possible or if they you're are, big enough. Or they're changing. Depends on Maybe they will be how, how much money they spend on labels and tubes. I think on the tube there's the mm -hmm. ABV on it as well, yes. I think they will, will do the, the, the cask mixing. I think mm -hmm. Aaron is not that small. They can do it. Mm -hmm. But say 50,000 bottles of a kind, that's quite a number where you can produce tubes cheap. Yeah. Or mix your whiskey. <laughs> yeah, we will see. We'll see. So this is castring. I have to dilute it. I, I already smell the alcohol in it. Mm -hmm. And a very intense vanilla caramel fruitiness. The citrus notes is there. The typical citrus notes of Aaron. 
Huh. You're tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's really strong in terms of uh, sweetness, and it has a, a really good tropical sweetness. So you have a lot of uh, pineapple and and uh, I would say even mango and some stuff. But it's a, a very good mixture of tropical fruits. Bit of a pina colada thing going on without the creaminess. Yeah, and so and this is our, citrus note. our second sip. The first one it was not that complex as it is now after the first sip. And <clears throat> there are definitely lots of cas flavors in it. This caramel vanilla. And it really mixes, balances well with the distillery character with the tropical fruits. Yeah, last time I did it with the pipette, but <laughs> it was <laughs> tedious. So here we go, 45. <laughs> it takes a little bit until it mix, really mixes a lot more of fruits. Yeah, really a lot. So very, very fruity. A little honey, probably, and going over to pineapple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. it's it became even more fruity with the pineapple, and mm -hmm. but also you do get a lot of that citrus note in there. But it's a very very fruity style whiskey. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of taste in it. Oh, still a lot of alcohol in it <laughs> that delivers taste to my tongue. Massive, the honey is present. The spiciness of the cask is there, mm -hmm. but no bitterness at all. So very well balanced, not too old. Medium aftertaste, so the first parts of the aftertaste are gone already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Now that, that this is the second sip, um, it has a lot more honey in it. And it's even one of these uh, wild honeys. There's a lot of sweetness going on. And as soon as you swallow, you get a lot of oak as well. So I think we've speculated before if this is a virgin oak, um, the quarter cast, if they're virgin oak, and I would say yes, they are. It's if this is a nine-year-old, it's just it has the the kick of I don't know a sixteen-year-old in terms of additive maturation. You do yeah. realize it's not a very old whiskey, but it's a very intense whiskey that all picked up a lot from the cask. But they did it with uh, cask quality or freshness of cask, uh, not with what do you call it uh, age. Yeah, the mm. second the second sip on my tongue even builds up the spiciness of the wood together with this fruitiness. So this is definitely an enrichment of the portfolio of Aaron. I have no idea how, how much it will cost. 50, 60, 60, 65. Something around there probably. Yeah, yeah. Newer uh, bottles always cost more. Yeah, And that's if the, the market, market accepts, then the price stays there. <laughs> when the market doesn't accept, <laughs> they, they, they lower reduce the price. price. That's <laughs> really mm -hmm. uh, logic. Mm -hmm. It's a good whiskey, but it's uh, I would classify it as one of these intense whiskeys that it's just a, a, a I wouldn't call it a young whiskey, a normal aged whiskey with a lot of cask influence, mm -hmm. a lot of cask influence. But I like it. Gives you a bit of a sense of the old style whiskey that were carried by the the mules yeah 
<laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to go to whiskey.com. You will find uh, everything about the Aaron distillery there and also a nice distillery video from Horst back when he visited in 2012 or something like that. 13. 13. Yeah. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.